There are some stories you never want to tell. They are usually the ones that need most to be heard. Stories of love and life and lust and death. We appease our fears with tales of bravery. We so often forget those stories can hurt the most. The Chronicles, created and produced by Christina Fitherinsteel and Brody Williams. Episode 3. Starring Tasman Riley, Christina Fitherinsteel, Keely Maloney, Kyle Edwards, Cole Pearden, and Jay King. Additional voices supplied by Derek Wickham, Liam Gallagher, Samantha DiLorenzo, Elia Fitherinsteel, Alana Vaughan, and Brody Williams. Audio editing provided by Chelsea Boynton and Megan Summers. Some people face life like a dream, without control, waiting to confusion and bedazzlement. They have the privilege of overlooking the waking world with a dreamy smile, without really knowing, without knowing pain or fear. You pray for them to simply wake up, will them with all your heart to simply wake up. What? It's been said that tales of bravery trap people in dreams, lull them into a world of the fantastic, lead them into a safe place, but it is all the same place of lies. Hello? Who's there? There was once a young hero who felt as though their life had been a lie. They felt it like an itch trapped in the wrong skin in the wrong place, surrounded by the wrong people. Who am I? If not the person everyone sees me as, they often pondered, who is the person I need to be? Naira? Is that you? They had to be stronger than their old self. The young hero found that breaking out of the dream required an agonizing metamorphosis, shattering their world with bloody, bare fists. It hurt them then, as it hurts them to this day. What's going on up there? The young hero will remember every battle they face, every enemy they defeat, but no trial will ever be as tormenting and haunting as the day they abandon themselves. No. How many hits can this behemoth take? Can't you use magic? What? No! I've been given a limited amount of potions and spells, and I'm not wasting it on these fools! Hank, less stabbing, more slashing. Like this? <laughs> Naira! Raphael? <laughs> Naira, please, try to think of some healing incantations. Make yourself better. I was really happy with you guys. You were the best thing you could ever ask for. Okay? Remember that, Raphael. I will. Stay strong, Naira. <laughs> Anything for you. <laughs> Naira! Some battles aren't meant to be won. The young hero learned a long time ago that the more you lose, the heavier your heart grows. It would be such a burden that it would seem better to just live without it altogether. Galileo! No! Whew. Well, that certainly was a workout. Jeez. Is that... Now I'm all warmed up. You are going to die. Painfully and swiftly. Hey, boss. Hank isn't looking so hot. Maybe you could... Ace, I'm on the verge of my ultimate victory here. And it's only made sweeter by the fact that I get to eviscerate the lovely Raphael Free. So, how about you just shovel Hank's entrails back inside her, give me the moment of dignity and respect that I know I deserve, and you keep that freakishly large mouth of yours shut! I... Ace! Yes, sir. 
You're gonna be okay, buddy. Just um, put pressure all over this big leaking hole in your body, and you'll be fine. You killed my fam, my party. Tell me why, now. <laughs> why? So you can feel better? Like, like maybe they died for a reason. Like they had some big part to play. Honestly, <laughs> they just got in my way. Ooh, oh, oh. Mm, you know. <laughs> If, if you hadn't brought them onto this ship in the first place, <laughs> they might actually, <laughs> they might actually still be alive. <laughs> oh, I serve an ancient power, a supreme being the likes of which would make you quiver in your fancy leather tire stir leather boots. You think you know pain, terror, loss? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the beginning, Raphael. Your death? It won't even be remembered. No one remembers the heroes lost at sea. The young hero knows pain, try as they might. They cannot bury it deep enough. It's a hurt that penetrates their whole being. And the question still remains. Who are you? What does my identity matter? to someone who's dead! I hope you drown slowly. Excuse me, ma'am. May we have a moment of your time? Have you seen this weapon? Oh, young man. I'm sorry, I don't think I've... Wait a moment. Is that a... Why, I never... Hey, come on, lady. Have you seen this massive sword or what? I won't hesitate to call the guards on you. Get away from me, you pervert! <laughs> no luck, then? I hate you. <sighs> me? Your sword drawing? It looks like a dick. A long, pointy, rigid dick. But a dick, just the same. I was the one with the great idea to have a drawing. Doesn't mean I should have been the one to actually draw it. You could have helped, Elfie McArt Pants. I don't want to be on dick picture duty anymore. How about you guys start asking people if they've seen Bo's sword? No way. I am too short and Helen is too nice. People won't notice us. You have just the right balance of height and obnoxiousness. You're a natural born charmer, Xander. People listen to you, and some even find you bearable. Helena, stating painfully obvious facts about how amazing I am isn't helping my situation. How about you, squirt? What's your excuse? Too lazy. Yeah, well, my feet hurt, it's two in the afternoon, and I'm not drunk yet. Which some people would argue is a good thing. I think I just got a paper cut. Oh, and did I mention that I'm supposed to be a hero doing heroic things? This is a complete and utter waste of my talents. I'm a dragon slayer. Damn it, I will be respected. Funny. Looks to me like you're awfully good at just standing around bothering people. Oh, really? You want to go there, Agnes? You think you can handle it there? Please, you two, don't... Fight, fight, fight. What the hell are you talking about? Where's there? You can't handle the Xander Zone. <laughs> what? Xander Zone! <laughs> wow. You, you know what? You're right. I, I simply cannot handle the Xander Zone. I knew it was too intense for her. Hey, where are you guys going? Sorry, but someone in the Xander Zone hasn't bathed in several days, and it's a little obnoxious. The Xander Zone is well known for its robust and manly odor. It's one of the few perks of living within the zone. Hey, honey, how are you doing? Oh, I was fine before I could smell that dead thing in your shirt. <sighs> Whatever. Couldn't handle the zone anyways. It's only for heroes and full of man meat. No, wait, I mean manliness. You there? You say you're a hero? I sure am, baby. But for an agent of the law, I'll be whatever you want me to be. 
You wouldn't happen to be one of the recent Solus graduates, would you? Yes. What can I do for the Royal Guard so long as it doesn't involve going to jail? You can come with us. I didn't do anything that I can remember, and I don't think it's fair for me to be held accountable for that. King Kindness would like to see you immediately. Oh! No thanks. It's not a request. Look, how, how about we barter? Ten minutes with me for each of you, even that really hairy dude in the back. Though, I don't know, I might be a little tired by the time we get to you, Scruffy. And I get to leave with my head on my shoulders, alive and happy, if a little sore. Are you trying to bribe us with sex? That depends. Is it working? <laughs> Kinda. You're not in trouble, you idiot. We're here to protect you. Protect me? From what? Of the four parties who graduated so less three days ago, two of them are already dead. this. Forgive me for not being able to solicit random people who very obviously have better things to be doing. <sighs> well, I don't think this is the best way to go about this. Besides, if your sword is really that great, which it definitely is, then it's probably been sold and is a million billion miles away by now, making someone very happy. I'm sure. So we're just giving up then? Look, I'm sorry. Just a little... A lot anxious about Raphael coming back and being rightly ticked off at me. It's only been three days. Three days, Bo! Yeah! One of the King's guys could be popping by any day now. Bo! What? I mean, that's three days Raphael could have been spending on the reignition quest that they now have to spend turning back around and coming home because I couldn't watch where I was going. Have you seen this dang sword? Ah, ah, no, I, I haven't seen it. Sorry? Amada above Cleo, you must have one crazy big ego to really think that this is all your fault. What? No, I was just- It's fine. I'm just gonna go back to the shop and work on your sword. It's almost done. I'll see you later. Dang it, Kingston! You can do better than this! Focus. Help Bo, and then you can help Raphael, and then you can help that mayor find his key. No pets allowed. No pets allowed. No pets allowed. No. Raph? Raph! I mean, Hey, it's me, Cleo Kingston. Uh, you might not even remember me. We, uh, we went to school together for, like, three years. Graduated a couple days ago. Uh, I, I accidentally knocked you over at- Kingston? Yeah, I- That's a lot of blood. Raphael, what happened? Let me help you. Here. Put your arm around me. Just lean on me. I've got you. D don't be ri ridiculous. You're tiny. I might crush you. I can carry your weight, Raphael. <sighs> Let's find my party. We'll get you healed and- No. <sighs> Take me somewhere no one will find me. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Pretty much no one goes into the library, so I figure it's a safe bet that no one ever hangs out around it. We should be alone, uh, er, safe back here. I never thought 
I'd be one to hide out in an alleyway like a rat. Three days out of the academy and it's already come to this. Raphael, what happened? My party. We were attacked. We... I had chartered us on a ship and the crew turned on us. They killed... They nearly killed me. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must have been horrible. But... You're okay, Raphael. You're safe. I won't let anything happen to you. What are you doing? Can I give you a hug? Uh, it might help you feel a little better. <sighs> you really are a stupid child, aren't you? I don't want a hug. I don't want your kindness or your pity. I got my party killed. I am to blame. Me. It was all my fault. And don't you dare say otherwise. Responsibility always falls on the leader. Whether it's for something your party does or... Or something that happens to them. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You were made a leader by default. Not by merit. You know nothing of the world because you've never had to earn anything. I can't imagine what you're going through, but I do know how much it can hurt to be in charge. It's... It's almost like you have to give up a little bit of yourself to make room for pretty much everyone else you care about. And losing the people you care about? Well, you lose that new part of yourself. It's not a good idea to blame yourself for everything bad that happens, Raphael. That's like destroying a part of yourself for the sake of responsibility. My grandmother says it's important to take responsibility only for the actions you have control over. Because if you take responsibility for everything and anything that happens, it loses its meaning. It's not that simple. I know you're hurting, Raphael, but this isn't the way to go about it. You control what you can. And everything else is left up to the wind. Why does that... Ugh, sound so familiar? Got it out of Xander's Lord Grable book of quotes. <sighs> Figure, figures he'd be a Grable fan. What a plebe. Raphael? Raphael! Stay awake, okay? Please, I'm going to go get Helena and Xander and they'll heal you. No, no, I can't. I can't trust anyone. You can trust me. Besides, you can't honestly think everyone is evil. Raphael, you don't actually think everyone is... I don't think everyone is evil. Alright then. Stay here and I'll be right back with help. You're gonna be just fine, Raphael. <laughs> It smells spicy, but a warm spicy, not a sharp one. Definitely meat, a little burnt. Oranges? Tangerines, actually, but that's not part of the meal. It's just a shop a few feet off. Well, if the animal were alive, it'd be soft, no matter what dirt it rolled around in. Oh, no hints. Um, lamb? Right on the delicious tender mark, Helena. You really shouldn't eat so much street food, Agnes. It only upsets your stomach. How could I refuse? He was practically giving it away. Uh, probably for a good reason. I feel bad for just leaving Xander like that. Helena, we made a pact, remember? It's the only way he'll learn. It's sort of like teaching a bear dog a new trick. You have to be firm and no one to walk away. If he figures out we're trying to condition him to be a better person through mind games, he might be so upset he'll never talk to us again. I can only hope. Oh, but he's so afraid of psychics and mind readers and reverse psychology and regular psychology and street magicians. It just seems wrong. 
I'd be afraid of all that too if I had such little brain capacity to hold on to. It's tough, love. You can't carve a stone until you split it with a pickaxe. Thank goodness I found you guys! Where's Xander? In the Xander zone. Hopefully making his way to the Kander zone. I think the Pander zone is the best we can hope for. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Um, Helena, do you think you could heal someone on your own? Well, it depends on the injury, but I should make do with Jimin's help. Cleo, is everything alright? Not by a long shot. There's an undetermined price to pay for misplacing trust. A thief once told the young hero that that price was made in blood. How much blood is there? Enough to fill Xander's badger's flask. A lot. It's gonna be okay, Raphael. A young hero fails to see how they did not believe the thief then. They have only ever paid in blood, and it has so rarely been their own. How do they look? Purple. Like a cold purple around the lips. Uh, very pale. Sort of, um, like a fragile eggshell pale. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to describe it any better, Helena. There's just a, a lot of blood. It's all right, Jimin. You've done very well. Cleo, take Raphael's hand. Is, is that part of the spell? No, but this is going to hurt them. A lot. Oh, gosh. Um, take a deep breath, Raphael. Oh, God, I can't look. Uh. Yep. Oh, here comes that lamb again. It probably shouldn't be seeping out like this, huh? Jimin, put pressure on the spot where my hand is. Good. Okay. This may, um, sting. A child believes in stories that fight back the fears of cold, dark nights. A child who's scared because they have hope for the future, and hope brings with it the lurking suspicion that there will always be those who plot to snuff out your future. I'm not afraid to lose my future. Raphael? Can you hear me? Is it working? Uh, Helena? Push, Cleo. She needs to concentrate. If the young hero weren't so afraid of their future, they would not fight against themselves so vehemently. I don't. I don't. Ah! Cleo, hold them down. Agnes! Help! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is so gross. Why is some of the blood warm and some of it's cold, but it's all sticky? Raphael, please calm down. We're trying to help you. Lena's almost done, just a little longer. Of course, the young hero fights. It's all they know. They fight against everyone and everything because it's easier to oppose than to impose. Trust, friendship, love. It's all in position. It's all risk. And the young hero knows the payoff is always pain. Stop! Stop it! Raphael! I've caught you! I've got you! I'm going to help you! I'm gonna help you! Just just hold my hand! Hey! Oh, God, stop kicking me, you massive hemorrhoid. We're trying to help you. Ah, uh, Helena, you could stop any time now. That'd be great. Almost done. Trust hurts, doesn't it? But heroes don't back down from pain. They are bold in every story ever told. Is yours so different? No. Are they all right now? I wouldn't suggest running off into battle anytime soon, but... Yes, everything is properly stitched up now. You did a great job, Helena. Thank you. It would have been monumentally easier with Xander's help. Elves and their knack for healing. Oh, don't worry. We'll give his ass a proper kicking when he bothers to show up again. Raphael? Um, how are you feeling? King... Kingston. Of course. Who else would bring me... Such unbearable pain. Ugh. You brought your party here, even though I told you not to. You put my life at risk. I... Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Hold up there, you ornery billy goat of a human being. Cleo saved your life. 
So you're going to try that again using the proper pronunciation of thank and you, or I'm going to jab my pudgy little fingers right into your newly mended stomach wound. Oh, dang. Mm. I apologize, Kingston. Your dwarf is right. I owe you my gratitude. You saved my... You were followed? No! I mean, I don't think we were. I tell you, there are people out to kill me, and you lead them right to me. What in all the fields of hell are you talking about? Mm. Oh, you shouldn't try standing, Raphael. You might tear something that's just- Shut up, mage! Kingston, hand me my sword and draw yours. You're at least gonna help me fight them. Uh... I don't have my sword. (laughs) Who does? Oh, I always kind of figured Xander would be the first in our party to die. So it's true. Raphael Free did survive. And I'll survive just as easily as I survived your companions. Yeah, because having a giant gaping hole slash through you counts as surviving these days. Our companions? What? No! Why does everyone think we're out to get them? No, we're collecting the last of the survivors from the Solus graduating parties. What do you mean? Last of the survivors? So... It wasn't just my party that was attacked. Your party didn't make it? I'm sorry. Look, we're here to collect you and bring you to King Optimus. Your friends can come too. They we are not their my friends. friends. We're one of the graduating parties. Really? Well, all the better. Follow us. Raphael, uh, are you going to be able to walk on your own? Of course. Because... You know, I can give you a hand, if you want. (laughs) I don't want any more of your help, Kingston. I want the king to grant me a small army, and I want to kill the man who murdered my party. I want revenge, and I want you to get out of my way. You control what you can. Everything else is left up to the wind. (laughs) 